Hello there, Ms. Granucci again. I'm going to briefly show you how to use the program to use that photo gate. So on your computer you should log on and once you do you should see an icon that looks like this. It's called Logger Pro. Uh, double click on this. And it should look something like this. If you get a different screen, please let me know, but it should pop up like this. Now the first thing you need to do in order to use your photo gate is to calibrate it so that it measures velocity. Uh, right now it's measuring a different type of velocity. We want it to measure the velocity at which it, the gate is blocked, so it's called gate velocity. The way you're going to do that is you're going to go to experiment, you're going to go to set up sensor, and then you go to show all sensors. Now you should see the photo gate right here. Um, if it isn't there, just let me know and I can fix it. But once you do this, you should click this. And what you're going to do is select gate timing, not motion timing. That's different. So select gate timing. But now what you need to do is enter in the length of the ball um, so that it can calculate its velocity. Because again, it's going to calculate its velocity based on how long it's blocked and the length um, at which the object is. Since it's round, it's pretty nice. We can just measure the diameter of the ball. Um, for the time being, I have recorded a diameter of 0.054 meters. Please measure your ball. It may be different. And double checking the units is in meters. Everything's okay. So that works. And then once you're done, you can click off. And then it should be, assum assuming that your logger print logger pro gate is not you know um, blocked you should just press collect and you can leave it running so you could do multiple trials so here's one here's two three four five Oop. yeah six okay and if um, what you could do is actually make this a little bigger so you could actually see the velocity and those are your recordings of velocity. There you go, right there. And that's what you need to record in your lab notebook. So that's how you get your lab, um, your velocity readings. And that is basically the setup for your Blogger Pro. Thank you. And that will be it.